Beloved, since God loved us so much, we also ought to love one another. My 87-year-old father enjoying feeding birds and small animals. One day, I was visiting him after he had thrown scrap food into the woods for the wild animals. Instead of attracting the normal entourage of critters that love in the woods around his house, the food brought a large number of loud, annoying crows. I complained to my dad about throwing out food and attracting crows to the house. His answer was short and to the point, even the crows have to eat. I learned a valuable lesson that day. Sometimes, when I'm trying to help someone who is being difficult, I remember my father's words. Many people in my life are lovable, but deep down, I know that people who are not easy to love deserve the same care. Jesus taught us that love is not always easy. My dad understand that. One day, his bird feeder will bring him the joy of seeing a beautiful red bird or a colorful finch. And then, when he least expects it, along come noisy crows to feed on our scraps. His love for the birds and animals is like God's love for us, benevolent and unconditional. Heavenly Father, guide our hearts so that our love for others reflects your love. Thank you for people who shows us how to be your loving followers. Amen. Comment down. Today, we will show God's love to someone who is hard to love. God bless you. This message contents something that could change your life.